there's a really good reason why Skahoy leads the market in universal PDC controllers. Most importantly, I think it's because we deliver precise control for any camera, any brand. You can mix it any way you want on your control panel. And we have also invented features like cruise control and PTC trace that's available across all cameras we support. And even more, we can combine cameras, sliders, and pedestals into one unified control experience. Today we'll control this Bird Dog P200 camera. It is mounted on a PTC mover pedestal from PresenterTech and we'll work with it as if it was one single device. And that's a very unique feat, especially if you compare it to existing solutions on the market. The PTC mover pedestal is very compact. It is uh, great for in-table mounting. It is great for ceiling mounting. And on the PTC Extreme, these are integrated by using the joystick and the zoom rocker. So let's get straight to a demonstration here. I'm basically using the zoom rocker and you'll see the pedestal is shooting up as far as it can go or as quickly as it can go. And if you can see the bird dog camera move, I'll show you that using the joystick is also panning the camera right now. In terms of wiring, we have of course the SDI feed out of the camera. We have also Ethernet here. Of course, it could just be Ethernet because this is an NDI camera. Here we have uh, Ethernet coming into the pedestal and we also do have a power entry on the back side of this little box. Again, very compact and very easy to mount into a table or wherever you need this to be a very discreet solution. I've just moved the pedestal to the floor. It's standing on a box on the floor and I added a Canon camera to our little setup. We'll add that to the controller just in a moment. But first let's experience the pedestal once again here. Using the zoom rocker, I can move the pedestal up and at the same time, I'm able to use the joystick to make movements with the zoom, the tilt of the bird dog camera, etc. And as I mentioned before, we can also do these uh, presets. So I'll just press and hold on this one. This is the regular way you store preset on Skahoy Control. It's really, really easy, right? So now maybe I want to go over here, zoom in on the Skahoy logo, and I want to uh, elevate a little bit more on this. Okay, let's go to this position and I'll store that on preset number two. So now I start two presets. Let's just recall the first one. So you see, the pedestal is getting into position and the shot recalled as a preset in the bird dog camera is restored and now the pedestal is moving into the other position. So this forth and back is very, very easy to record and to recall on the control panel here. The UI you see on the screen in front of me is for the PC Extreme. It is Reactor. Reactor is the software we use to attach devices, to connect to devices, to configure them so that the buttons on our panels are mapped to the features you want to control. And today we'll simply add this uh, Canon camera. Let me see if we can find it on Discovery. It's unfortunately not there, but I'll search CRN100. We'll find it right there and need to just add an IP address for it. So we should be in business uh, right away. Uh, it means on the PC Extreme, we now have a second camera. And this is just to show you that we can actually, ah, yeah, okay, there's a configuration I need to change here. It is uh, done now. So um, I'll come back to this table in a moment, but it, uh, you, as you can see, we are, if we select the camera, able to pan the Canon camera and I can immediately, I can also recall presets on that one. Now I recall preset number one. This is preset number two. If I move over to the bird dog camera, this is preset number one and preset number two would be going up again. Now that is again, just to show you how we can mix and match perfectly as we want. We can add more bird dog cameras and we can also have more combinations of the pedestal and the camera. So that's all wonderful. Let's look at the details in the menu because the PC controller itself has preset recall camera selector and a menu of different things you can set. So this is what you usually see for the bird dog camera. Home menu with uh, white balance mode, red and blue gain, there's a gain iris uh, focus mode, etc. We have an exposure menu with exposure settings. We have a color menu with white balance and color settings, details, gamma. On the second page, we have matrix uh, functions and so on. On this camera, it doesn't exist apparently, but there is one item added called pedestal. And inside that one, we can set such as the speed. So if I change the speed and I press the zoom rocker all I can, you see it's moving quite slowly. If I adjust the curve 
and increase the speed. The curve is basically how gentle is it when you press the zoom rocket just a little bit. So if I press the zoom rocket a little bit, it will still start out pretty slowly and then it will sort of accelerate to higher speed as I press it all the way to the bottom, okay? If I take it all the way down, then as I press it a little bit, the initial speed that it will have is gonna be higher. So this is basically how is the, it's called ramping curve, and that curve is adjustable on this button. Now, the uh, mapping of where is the pedestal actually controlled happens on these buttons. So currently my pan, uh, my tilt and my rotate dimensions on the joystick are mapped to tilt and zoom. So yes, I am zooming with the rotation of the joystick, but I can change it to actually operate the pedestal. Okay, I'll just go back again. I can also do the same for the tilt, so I could use the joystick's tilt dimension or direction to move the pedestal if I want, but usually it is being used to adjust the tilt of the camera. And let's get that nicely into position right there. And again, the zoom rocker could also be zoom on the camera, so if I do that, you'll see that I'm now zooming with the camera instead of moving the pedestal, which is otherwise the default in the configuration here. Finally, there's a little demo mode, and the demo mode is something Presenter Tech has offered in their API to just make the pedestal interesting on a trade show, for instance. That's what I'm assuming, at least. It can also be enabled and disabled from your Skyhoy controller. So, um, to not have so, so much background noise, I'll just disable that for a moment and invite you into the configuration inside Reactor. So we have a bird dog camera and the presenter tech pedestal added here. They are device number one and number two. And the way this is configured inside the camera selector is that there's a device ID, which is number one, and then combo device ID, which is like a secondary ID of the device that acts as a secondary function. In this case, that secondary function is the pedestal. So this number one and number two has to correlate with the number one and number two right there. And this is why if you added uh, four pedestals and four cameras on top of those pedestals, you would simply have four lines in here with numbers uh, one through eight probably that would be the device IDs and the combo device IDs. Another thing that you need to choose correctly is this configuration. We see we have a configuration called, we have a ton of configurations as you can see. And the one that we have picked is called Visca Pedestal plus Visca Bird Dog and Pro Class is a reference to the fact that this is mapped down onto a PDC Extreme. So that configuration is very important to pick in order to have that pedestal menu and have the joystick mapped as um, as the default. Now, if I choose Visca Bird Dog, because we have that configuration, and that's basically, if I pick it here, you'll see that it's the same. The same things in the menu, except we don't have that pedestal menu that we had on this button a moment ago. If I use the zoom rocker, you'll see zoom rocker is just using zoom. Joystick is zooming, because in order to have the pedestal control added to it, you will have to select that one we just had called Visca Pedestal plus Bird Dog. And if you search pedestal, you can see the configurations that we have already. One specifically for Bird Dog, we have one for data video, we have a generic Visca uh, control with pedestal involved. So combining devices is also us configuring or pre-making a configuration that will out of the box give you an experience like the one you've just seen. The final thing I wanna highlight about this Presenter Tech pedestal is its charming ability to play music. So with Skyhoy controllers, you get one combined user experience for your pedestals. You get control, you get presets for pan, tilt, zoom, focus, and the elevation of the pedestal. And in my eyes, that's perfect for installations and automation. And if this inspired you, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can follow us on social media as well. Subscribe to our newsletter for updates. And you'll find links to all those resources in the description below. And whenever you need, you can also reach out to our sales and support team on email.